Dear friends, welcome to this Electrical Engineering Knowledge Sharing Channel, AMP Power System. We are discussing workshop 12. We have already completed three sessions. Today we are going to discuss a new session that is session 4, where we will be discussing transformer sizing for motor starting. In this session, we will try to cover two parts. One part is dedicated motor transformer where a transformer is directly connected to a single motor and that transformer will be designed or sized to be catered for both rated KVH or running condition as well as starting condition. So this is one part we will discuss. Then the second part of this session we will discuss combined load transformer. That means a transformer which is catering power to a base load as well as it will be catering a starting power requirement of a big motor. That motor size we will consider it may be about 50% of the base load, this type of uh, motors. That means the total load will be about, if it is 100% load, 50% load is the base load or continuous load. Another 50% load is a motor load and this is a single motor load. This type of combined system transformer sizing also we will be discussing if time permits. So let's discuss the first part of the transformer sizing that is a dedicated transformer for motor running as well as motor starting. So before going into this discussion, we have to, uh, we have to discuss that how motor starting impact on the transformer sizing. So we, as we have already discussed during generator sizing in session one of this workshop, how motor starting current changes. We know that during a starting of a motor, motor starting current can vary from 1.5 times to 6 times or you can say more conservative way from 2 times to four ta 6 times of the motor rated current during a starting of the motor. So, but this two, ta 2 times to 6 times current is not constant. It is varying from a start from the zero condition when the motor is a standstill it may take about 1.5 times to 2 times of full load current, then motor start rotate, then it current also gradually increasing, and then it goes up to 6 or sometimes it goes 7, seven times as well, depending on the size of the motor and motor characteristics, and then it motor gets start, then it comes down to normal full load current. That is the motor starting current characteristics. So from that motor starting current characteristics, we have to calculate what is the average motor starting current during this motor starting interval. Normally, most of the motor we are discussing here most severe condition or worst condition that is direct online starting of a motor. Not the reduced voltage starting, not the swap starter starting, not the BFD starting. We are discussing most worst condition of a starting that is a direct online starting. So DOL starting we call, we generally call it DOL direct online starting. So that type of a starting, what is the average current will be taken by the uh, motor that we need to discuss that once we find out the motor starting current then we have to calculate another part which is called motor power factor that means the motor when it goes start the motor at the time of zero condition when it starts taking current initial part of the current is mostly magnetizing in nature or reactive in nature and then as the motor start rotating it takes mechanical power gradually so this ratio of magnetizing current or reactive current to the active current is gradually reduces. So as the time changes, this active current is increasing. So automatically power factor from the total reactive current, it goes combination of reactive current as well as active current. So power factor gradually improving. So it starts with a very poor power factor. Then when motor get full started, power factor improve maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.7, sometimes it goes to 0.8. Then once the motor get loaded, then it will go to uh, better power factor. So a starting power factor may be 0.2 when it is taking fully reactive current or sometimes 0.1 also, then it gradually increases up to 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So we will calculate the average power factor of this interval. So first these two parts we have to calculate before going into uh, sizing of the transformer. So let's discuss first these two parts separately. We have, we have already discussed this part in the Janata sizing in session 1. So you can refer that and if this, somebody does not want to refer it, for those, part, for, for those friends, I am discussing one second over here. So we are first checking the starting current of the motor. 
So this tie size is the motor starting time. This is starting time for generally for any size of motor varies from 6 seconds to about 15 seconds. That is the general timing for a starting of the motor. And this side we are putting the motor starting current. Okay. Motor is starting and this time motor is starting time. Motor is starting current. I guess you can say. Now if this is a two times current and this is a four times, this is six times suppose. And this is a one time full load current. Now normally it takes between 1.5 to 2 times. I am considering the severe condition. It starts from here, then get go speed, then it drop down. Okay. It drop down to your full load current. So this is a full load current. So it will be dropping down to here. This is a full load current. And at that point, motor is running uh, with the load. So if this is the starting point, suppose the motor rated current is IR. So that means at this point, motor current will be 2 IR. And when it goes to the peak, this is a 6 IR, we said. 6 times of the rated current. So now if we want to calculate the average starting current during this interval, we calculated it. From the 2 times, we can take a, uh, this line. So if we consider more or less this, actually our area will be like this. But for approximation, we can do this way. So we will consider this total amount, this 2 times of this. Okay. And then we can calculate. So this will be our total area for calculating of the average current. So if you consider this two time is the rectangle, so how much this current will be? This will be area of this rectangle, rectangle will be 2 IR into this time interval T plus this area, how much this will be? This can be dissolved into two tri triangle. This is one triangle approximately and this is another triangle approximately. So this if we say T1 and this is a T2, so this will be half, this triangle will be half into T1 into this height how much it is a 6 i from here so this is a 2 i that means this is your 4 i so this into 4 i plus half into this time is t2 so t2 into 4 i from here you can calculate 4 i but is ir so that equal to half into ir if you take common then this is a 2 and this is a 2 2 so it is coming 4 ir so if we do this, this will be coming, sorry, this is IR here, this is a T1 plus T2, okay. This is T1 plus T2, that is equal to T, that means 2 IR into T, into T. That means we can say from here, the total current, this is, this is T, so this 2 IR T, this is 4 IR, T is the total area and divided by the time T, that will give you the average starting current, that means average starting current of the motor with a starting initial current two times and the full uh, at the full uh, condition full uh, highest current of the during a starting period is a 6 i 6 times of the rated current then the average current will be 4 i that will be the our average current similarly if we consider the power factor power factor when initially power factor is very poor suppose the power factor is 0.2 and when it is a, a start fully then power factor may be 0.6 without load so this total if you take the average of this the power factor will be 0.4 average power factor during a static. So these two data we will calculate for further transformer sizing. So to this uh, 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 summary is during a starting of a motor, motor will take average starting current is the four, four times of the rated current. I starting of the motor will be four times of the I rated current and power factor, uh, starting power factor starting that equal to will be 0 0.4 with the average of, we can say this is your based on the 0.2 to 0.6 average range of power factor of the motor. So this will be a starting power factor, this will be a starting current of the motor. Okay. So this two part. Now when we are going to sizing a transformer for the motor starting, we have to, there are three aspects we need to check. First aspect is for this motor to run continuously, it needs a certain amount of KVA or power active power, reactive power and apparent power. That power must be catered for, that is a normal running. During a starting due to the huge current it is drawing and the poor power factor current, it, it will, it requires certain amount of active power as well as certain amount of reactive power. And that active power and reactive power due to the high starting current and the low power factor, that during that time, the active car power and the reactive power, that is kilowatt and kVR, which is drawn by the motor during a starting that must be different from the 
kilowatt and kb are drawn by the motor during normal running condition that means two scenario is different so this both the scenario we have to consider when we are going to size the transformer kva in case of normal uh, load which we discussed in session two and three where we have considered all loads are normal load there's no tan this type of tangent loads which is on the process which can take different current and different time and which could have a different power factor that is not there but in this case if we start from consider from a starting point up to the running condition in that case motor drawing different current at different times and power factor also vary from different time to different time so all the we have to size the transformer in such a way all this condition in all the condition transformer should be capable to cater for the required kilowatt and kbh under all circumstances so considering the scenario there are mainly two scenario one is a starting scenario another is a running scenario so in case what we have to do we have to calculate during running scenario how much kilowatt how much kbh that means what how much active power kilowatt how much reactive power kbh and how much apparent power kbh is required at a definite running power factor that is one part we have to calculate second part we have to calculate during a starting of the motor how much active kilowatt how much active power means kilowatt how much reactive power means kbh and how much apparent power is required at that starting power factor now considering both the aspect we have to size the transformer so that it can cater both the condition that is a two part third part we have already discussed we know the transformer has a percentage impedance meaning of the percentage impedance what that when the transformer is loaded 100 percent the amount of voltage drop taking place inside the transformer due to the transformer impedance because transformer windings has a resistance as well as inductance due to this resistance and inductance it has some impedance so when the current flowing through the impedance there will be voltage drop so that voltage drop we define in terms of percentage impedance if this transformer has a suppose 10 percent percentage impedance in that case when that particular transformer will be loaded 100 percent that means the transformer is at full load condition there will be 10 percent voltage drop in the transformer that is the meaning of percentage impedance so now we know any every transformer has a percentage impedance that is already stamped on the nameplate suppose a transformer has a z is the percentage impedance that means when the transformer will be fully loaded z percent voltage drop will be there now based on the rate in case of transformer running condition when the transformer is catering power to the motor for running at that time the amount of kva drawn from the system as that kva and during a starting time what is the amount of power drawn from the system is different automatically voltage drop will be different now we have to check during a starting transformer is maintaining its terminal voltage to meet the motor starting as well as system voltage during running also it is maintaining the voltage so that voltage part also voltage drop part also we need to check during motor starting motor running so to size the transformer so these are the three main aspects we have to consider during sizing of a transformer dedicated to a motor single motor okay so let's now then we go as level let us consider a typical motor of having kilowatt suppose p is the kilowatt of the motor and q is the reactive kvr required for the motor the motor has a there is a motor has active power is equal to p that is a p kilowatt and reactive power required it is for running rated it is rated uh, rated active power that is during when it is running at full load at the time rated active power how much a reactive power is a q bar kvr and power factor of the running condition power factor of the motor suppose this is a pf running this is the condition of the motor running this is a motor running this is the rated condition okay so in the rated condition if we want to calculate the kba how much kba of the motor motor kba we know kba equal to how much kb equal to kilowatt by power factor that means p is the power active power active power by power factor this is a power factor running pfn that is the running this is the kba and if we want to calculate kvr how much kvr generally in the motor data sheet kvr is not mentioned generally all the motor data sheet you can see only kilowatt and power factor efficiency all these parameters are given so we have to calculate the kvr how we calculate the kvr we have already said then from the active power and the power factor which is available in the data sheet motor data sheet 
From that we can calculate the KVA. Now KVR equal to how much? KVR equal to KVA into sine of phi, where phi is the phase angle. Power factor means what is power factor? Power factor is a cos phi. This is called power factor. And this is a sine phi is a from the cos phi, we cos phi are suppose cos phi is a running condition, running condition uh, phase angle. So sine phi r is a running condition phase angle sine. So from as we have already calculated KVA, KVA is this. From this we can calculate the KVR. So this will be KVR that equal to our Q. We suppose we got the Q. So this is the it is a rated condition. Okay, this is Q rated and this is a P rated. Okay, and this is a KVA rated. All are rated condition. So these three things we can calculate. From this we can say we can say what is the KVA required for this. If we want to run this motor running continuously, we need this amount of KVA. So transformer should be suitable for this amount of KVA. That means it should be suitable for the rated KVA. Only we if we do not want to if we do not need to start the motor. In that case, only this amount of KVA would be enough to run the motor. So that is a simple thing from here. Now, as we need to start the motor, we have to calculate how this starting time, how much KBA, is it taking more KBA than this or it is less KBA than this, that we need to calculate. So, this is our KBA rated condition requirement which we can calculate from the motor data sheet parameters, okay. Both KBA we can calculate, KBR we can calculate, kilowatt is already in the data sheet. Now, next part we will go for the calculation of the starting KBA requirement of the motor, okay. Now, second part we calculate how we calculate we have already calculated the starting current how much starting power factor we have said a starting current i s that's equal to four times of i r and power factor we have said power factor generally varies that is this is a cos phi s a starting power factor generally varies it is a 0 0.4 and if you take 0 0.4 then sine phi s equal to how much this is equal to 1 minus cos square phi if you calculate this thing, it will come 0.92, okay, this will come. So, this is the parameter during a starting, we know this part. We have from the motor data sheet, we can get the starting current average. We can get the power factor also from the motor data sheet. This part is known to us. Now, another point over here, when motor gate started, as it is taking four times of the rated current, automatically we have said, if it take the rated, if it take the rated current, then the voltage drop will be equal to the percentage impedance of the transformer in the transformer. Now, if it's a four times current, automatically voltage drop will be more. So, in that case, if the voltage drop is more, how this transformer is connected? Transformer is over here, and then it is going to switch gear or it is directly connected to the motor. You can say in that way it is a motor bus. So, here, if this during a starting of this task motor, if this transformer during rated condition, it is 100 percent voltage. So, if at the rated current of IR, when IR current is flowing through this, terminal is 100 percent voltage is maintaining. We consider it in that way. Now, if four times current goes through this, automatically there is impedance over here, right, inside. So, automatically more voltage drop will be here. So, in that case, we will not get 100 percent voltage. So, voltage will be less over here. If the voltage at the transformer terminal is less, here also voltage will be less from, from transformer to the motor is connected by cable. So in the cable there will be voltage drop. So if this is, if first part this is not 100%, second there is a voltage drop in the cable. So motor voltage will be less, right? So during a starting of the motor, motor terminal voltage will be less than the motor rated voltage or rating or running condition voltage. So how much voltage drop will be with there? Now we have to go back to motor specification or IEC. Normally, we say as when we make the specification of the motor, we always say that motor should be capable to start at 80 percent of its rated voltage. Suppose a motor is 100 volt motor, and if the voltage is 80 volt, motor should start. That is the specification asks for. And most of the manufacturer, Siemens, ABB, uh, uh, your uh, any or any other Schneider Electric, you go or Astom, you go anybody, you pay, 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 you go any manufacturer of the big motors, they or Hyundai, so they always maintain the motor uh, specification. Okay, so that means this specification they can manufacture the motor if maintaining this specification. That means during a starting of the motor, motor is designed in such a way it will start as 80% of the terminal voltage. That means 
20 percent voltage drop from the top from the from the system transformer and the cable total 20 percent voltage drop is allowed that is a for a start of the motor but for our sake of interest and we as we will be conservative we will not consider 20 percent we will consider 80 percent voltage drop is allowed during a starting of the motor from the from the input side of the transformer to the motor terminal total 15 percent voltage drop is allowed that means if we consider this is a transformer part this is a transformer part and then this is a cable and this is a motor this is a cable okay so we will consider 5 percent voltage drop allowed in the transformer in addition to the rated condition we are talking this voltage because the rated condition when motor transformer is running at a motor full load condition when motor is a running condition at that time we are considering 100 percent voltage here now due to a starting we are allowing another 5 percent voltage drop over here and 10 percent voltage drop in the cable it is all this additional voltage drop we are considering for the starting current that is i r this is a starting current this four times the starting current flowing through this for that reason we are allowing another five percent voltage drop and here in the cable we are allowing ten percent voltage drop total so that total 15 percent voltage drop is allowed up to the motor terminal so this is our assumption okay with this assumption we will proceed now if there is a 15 percent voltage drop at the motor terminal now motor is starting current which we have considered for ir we have considered it as a rated condition rated money 100 percent voltage if we maintain at the transformer terminal if this transformer maintain 100 percent voltage that means if the this is a motor this is a motor if the motor terminal voltage is maintained 100 percent of the motor nameplate then it will take 4i current but if this voltage drop to 85 percent then automatically you know this, this is a motor drawing the current depending on the motor impedance now if the voltage drop voltage gets dropped automatically current also will get drop in proportion so when 100 percent voltage is there it is drawing 100 percent current that is a 100 percent current means 4 ir that is a starting current now if during a starting if the terminal voltage drop down to 85 percent automatically a starting current which we mentioned suppose it is is dash that is actual starting current that will be how much it will be 85 percent of the 100 percent rated 100 percent voltage starting current that means it will be 0 0.85 into 100 percent rated for 100 percent voltage when maintaining the transformer terminal current how much 4 ir so it will be 4 ir this will be our starting the actual starting current during motor starting so instead of is uh, 4 ir the is that is starting current actual will be 85 percent of the point 0.85 percent of the 4 ir that is the one part so now if we calculate the starting kva how much it would be so a starting kva how we calculate the starting kva a starting kva we can calculate before that what will be the running kva we have already running calculate we have get the running kva how we get it that is equal to kilowatt running by power factor right power factor run this is also we can calculate root 3 into voltage into current into this will be the uh, running kva this is a rated voltage rated current that is also kva motor kva if from the voltage and current this current we can calculate for the motor kilowatt now if we go to the starting kva then how much it will be a starting kva of the motor it is all a starting kva of the motor huh? this is all a running kva of the motor starting kva of the motor this is called how much this is called we can in the same way we can calculate root 3 into a starting voltage now starting voltage how much we have said during a starting motor terminal voltage to drop by 85 percent to 85 percent means 15 percent drop will be there that means rated condition voltage is vr so er voltage will be 0 0.85 into v running and current will be how much running current actual starting current will be we said 0 0.85 into ir into 4 we calculated 4 ir is the starting current in 100 percent voltage 85 percent voltage it will be 0.85 so this will be a starting kva this is called if we calculate root 3 into vr into ir into it will be 0 0.85 that is square into 4 and if we calculate this part it will come 2.89 into this is a rated kva so running kva this is equal to running kva so you see during a starting of the motor it is drawing 282 2.8 times 2. approximately 2.9 times running kva 
during normal running whatever the kba motor is drawing during a starting of the motor it is taking about 2.9 times when is 290 percent kba it is drawing during a starting that means use amount of kba it is about three times so this is a starting kb requirement now from this two point we can say easily so that means a starting kba is a more than running kba so to, to meet more the requirement running requirement as well as starting requirement we have to size the transformer based of the a starting kba okay that means transformer is required 2.9 times transformer is required to cater 2.9 times of the rated kva to start the motor so that means if i want to size simply this transformer from the kva point of view we have to size the transformer based on the starting kva that means transformer kva which will be will be selecting transformer kva that must be equals to how much that is the minimum it will be 2.9 times of motor starting kva motor running kva that will be our requirement for the transformer okay so this will be a kva requirement okay this transformer kva transformer has to cater this amount of kva now transformer has another aspects transformer has what is that aspects you know every transformer it has some because you know this during this amount of kva when it will be drawing during a starting time which i said about 6 to 15 second only only that amount after that motor will be running maybe month after month it will one because once a big motor starts you do not stop the motor every day it may run maybe six months then one time you will stop again okay so this type of uh, transformer it will be scattering for this amount of power only over a six month maybe only 12 15 seconds after that it will be running only full load condition that is only motor rate running kba it will be drawing not be three times only one time so this short time overloading every equipment has a short time overloading overloading capabilities so when we manufacture the transformer we told the manufacturer this duty is required so there is a ic has already i told already ic has a stipulation a transformer can be overloaded from 120 percent to 150 percent such a way that it oil temperature winding temperature hot spot temperature should not increase from the rated condition what is the rated condition oil temperature is 100 degree centigrade winding temperature 105 degree centigrade and hot spot is 115 degree centigrade total including ambient so this condition should not be override it will be maintained within this within this temperature maintaining this temperature transformer should be overloaded up to 120 to 150 percent can be overloaded now this design has to do the manufacturer so most of the manufacturer they can design the transformer up to 150 percent overload 150 percent overload they can design maintaining this temperature rise that depend on the what is the initial condition of the transformer suppose a transformer is running 50 percent loading whatever the transformer rating only 50 percent is loaded and that type of transformer running maybe one month after month suddenly on that transformer you want to overload then there is overloading capability there is some uh, the, the how much overload it can take and if the transformer is loaded suppose 90 percent over that you want to give overload that overload will not be the same time it cannot take the same um, same time overload so normally most of the manufacturers they design the transformer if the transformer before starting or loading extra loading if the transformer was running at 50 percent load okay 50 percent load it is running at that time if you want to overload by 150 percent kba put 150 percent then it can it can withstand up to 18 minutes it can withstand if the transformer is running on 70 percent loading then same 150 percent uh, overload 70 percent present load is 70 percent and then you want to load overload by 150 percent of the rate of the rating of the transformer then it can it can withstand up to eight minute it can uh, eight minute it can take this 150 percent overload but if the transformer running at 90 percent loading condition presently transformer running and 90 percent loading and you want to put 150 percent load then it can take only four minute okay so now in our case when you go for the motor starting transformer has no load frankly speaking in that case and motor starting time how much if we consider four minutes it is only six seconds to 15 seconds nothing with this comparison so easily we can load 
the transformer by overload by 150 percent any of the loading even it is at this moment it is zero loading our transformer as it is dedicated transformer motor is not running means transformer has no, uh, not loading but before maybe transformer was loading with a 50 percent so if it is 50 percent loading or 70 percent loading or 90 percent even 90 percent loading four minutes 150 percent overloading is possible so we will consider this is the bottom line that our transformer is suitable to overload 150 percent for four minutes even at 90 percent loading when the initial load is 90 percent on that assumption if we consider then you see here what will happen now this is the required kva to be catered by the transformer considering the two as per running condition and starting condition now as this transformer can take overload by 150 percent that means this two times 2.9 times overload that can be reduced to how much 2.9 by 1.5 because 150 percent overloading will give this amount so what will be the transformer capacity it will be by less by 150 percent so you will divide by 1.5 so that will be into the motor running kva motor running kva so these will be our actual requirement of the transformer so if you calculate this thing it will come about 1.9 so if we calculate this it will come 1.2.9 divided 1.5 so it will come in 1.94 into transformer into motor running kva motor running kva so we means approximately we can say we need approximately two time of the transformer rating the motor rating motor kva what are the motor rated kva two times of the motor rated kva approximately two times will suitable for motor starting as well as motor running condition so okay so this is our final kva of the transformer so transformer kva will be how much design transformer kva will be transformer kva design this is equal to 1.94 into motor starting kva we can approximate it approximately two times of motor running kva okay that will be the transformer size now with this transformer size we have to calculate now we have got another data over here so our transformer kva how much transformer kva this is equal to 1.94 into motor running kva motor running kva so this is the transformer kva rating now we said another point as transformer during starting transformer is drawing about 0.85 into 4y which is equal to about 3.6 time current so the automatically transformer voltage drop will be more so we said now how we we have to calculate how much voltage drop is there now voltage drop we said in the transformer 15 percent voltage drop after the transformer terminal we have allowed that means maximum five percent additional voltage drop due to the additional kva drawn by the transformer five percent voltage drop we have allowed so if we consider that five percent voltage drop allowed then we have to calculate how much what will be the impedance of this transformer okay now suppose this transformer has a z is the percentage impedance of the transformer okay now we have said the transformer size will be how much 1.94 into motor running kva so if the z percent z is the percentage impedance of this transformer at this kva now during running this is a during running this is the starting kva during so transformer at 1.9 times to this if the z is the percentage impedance so now we have size now we have seen motor starting current how much motor starting kva starting kva how much equal to your 2.9 how much we got that is a 1.94 1.94 1 into 1.5 this is equal to 2.9 2.9 into motor kva uh, motor kva motor kva this is a starting kva of the motor and transformer kva we have considered now for the, as this transformer kva 1.94 in the motor kva that means z percent voltage drop will be when when motor trans, motor will be drawing this amount of kva but if the motor drawn because during a starting motor will be drawing because we have considered with the 150 percent overloading these are the transformer size now when 2.9 times the motor kva how much percentage drop will be there that we can calculate from here simply how this is a when it is drawing 1.94 the voltage drop is a z percent right now if it is take 2.9 into suppose motor is running kva we consider k then it's very simple suppose okay 
into k. That means when 1.94 k, k is the motor running kV, is drawing percentage impedance, voltage drop is z percent. Then 2.9 k when is drawing how much voltage drop? Z by that is a 1.94 k into 2.9 k simple proportional we can consider. Okay? This is a so if you calculate this thing k cancel, this is equal to 2, this is a z into 2.9 by 1.9. So if you calculate 2.9 by 1.9, how much it will be 1.94? Huh? So 2.9 divided 1.94. If you calculate, it is coming 1.5. 1 1.5% Z. So during a starting of the motor, what is happening? Voltage drop is a 1.5 percent, money 15 uh, 150 percent. You can say 1.5 into Z. Huh? 1.5 into Z. That means whatever the Z percentage, that 1.5 times will be the voltage drop. Now this transformer normally we design the transformer percentage impedance generally 6, 7 percent, 5 to 8 percent for this type of transformer. If we consider 6 percent of the transformer impedance, then how much voltage drop during a starting? It is a 1.5 into 6. That is equal to 9 percent voltage drop will be there. Okay. So this 9 percent voltage drop. Now out of that we said. 6% voltage drop at 100% loading, 100% loading means 1.9 for this, this amount of power. So actually during a starting, it is how much it is taking additional minus 6% equal to 3% additional voltage drop is taking place. So we have considered we allow additional 5% voltage drop. So it is a good, even if we go for 7% or if we go 8%, then how much it will be coming? It will be coming 12%. So if we percentage impedance then it will be 4%. 4% additional voltage drop. If we consider percentage impedance Z, then 4% additional voltage drop. With the requirement up to we can go 10% of the transformer impedance. Then also it will go 5%. But if we go more than 10%, then voltage drop will be more than stimulated. So from this we can calculate the transformer percent voltage, voltage drop how much and it should be within uh, 5%. This voltage drop also we can calculate another way. This is how we could do this thing. This calculation we can do voltage drop calculation very simple voltage drop this equal to how much you can see it is from this point we can calculate z percent voltage drop for for what for this uh, transformer rating okay transformer rating that means z uh, voltage drop equal to z percent impedance so z percent voltage drop for the running for uh, transformer kva so transformer kva how much transformer you can say transformer kva okay transformer rated kva so for one for TR KBA voltage drop one Z for one KBA this for a starting KBA how much a starting KBA you can write down a starting KBA for a starting KBA this amount now this transformer KBA if we drop this Z down this Z if you bring Z like here then transformer KBA by Z what we call you call short circuit impedance this is called transformer short circuit impedance that means a starting KBA divided by transformer short circuit kva that will give you the direct voltage drop this is way another formula this is another formula for transformer voltage drop calculation a starting kva by short circuit kva of the transformer because transformer rated kva by percentage impedance we get the short circuit kva short circuit kva a starting kva by short circuit kva will give the transformer percentage impedance from this calculation we can say even the transformer is designed for 10 percent impedance then also this a starting voltage drop is a possible but here one of the point we have said that this additional voltage drop we have considered based full based on the rated condition so at the full load condition how we maintain the transformer terminal voltage that is a we do by the off circuit tap changer we define transformer voltage in terms of no load condition suppose this motor is a 6.6 kb motor okay suppose the motor is uh, now this uh, this transformer is a 33 kb by 6.6 kV transformer. This is a that means this is a transformer and this is a motor is connected over here. Okay, so this is a 6.6 kV here. That is in this when the motor is not running, this voltage is a no load voltage. Okay, this 6.6 kV no load voltage. Now we know this transformer has a Z percent impedance. So Z percent voltage drop will be here. So what we will do if the Z percent voltage drop over there, I mean Z by 100 into 6.6 we can calculate how much voltage drop will be here suppose this transformer is a 5% impedance okay 
that means how much voltage drop in 6.6 kV? 6.6 kV, 5% and 5, 6, uh, 5, 6, 30, 0, 3, 33. That means 334, when a 0.33 kV voltage drop will be there. That means if the transformer is fully loaded, we will get 6.6 minus 0.33. That means we get approximately 0. Point, you can say approximately 6.3 kV voltage. So here, we what we have to do, this voltage drop, if you don't allow, if you say this way, then during full load condition, during full load condition, transformer instead of 6.6 kV, you will get 6.3 kV. So what we have to do, we have to specify this voltage will be 6.9 kV. That means we will define the transformer 33 by 6.9 kV, so that when the transformer is fully loaded, it will give 6.6 kV over here. This 300 volt means 0.3 kV will be dropping the transformer that we consider in the ratio. In that way, at 100% loading, we can maintain the transformer voltage. Or if it is, we feel that transformer will not be normal running content, it will be 50% loaded, then we can define this no load voltage with the 50% drop, not 100% drop. So in that case, instead of 660 volt, it will go half of this. So that will add with the rated condition, that voltage drop will be considering during running. So if the running condition will get 6.6 kV, during motor starting, rest of the voltage drop will be allowed. In this way, we can calculate the voltage drop and that will give the transformer voltage drop calculation. So this way we can size the transformer from this uh, motor starting purpose, dedicated motor starting. So these three things we have discussed, one is a for calculating transformer size for motor starting, we have to calculate the motor rated KV how much for that transformer, what is the transformer requirement, then we have to calculate the starting KV how much with a, that we have to calculate and then based on that we have to size the transformer and if you see the actual during a starting, how much kilowatt and KV it is drawing, you will surprise. You, we have already calculated starting kilowatt. If you want to say starting kilowatt, that equal to how much? 2.9, right? 2.9 into uh, running KVA. Running KVA. This into, if you add by power factor, power factor how much? 0.4. We have said average power factor 0.4. If you calculate this, it will come about 1.36. Yeah? 1.36 running KVA. 1.16, I think, then so it is 4.936.3. 4 to 8, 11, 1.16 running KV. And if you calculate kilowatt, this how much it will be in terms of running kilowatt, 1.16 running power factor 0.85. If you divide by 0.85, it will be uh, into running KVA. This will be low kilowatt, that equal to it will 1.36. 1.36 into running kilowatt. So a starting kilowatt about 36% of the running kilowatt. A starting kilowatt is not very high. Mechanical active power, power is not taking high. But if you go to the reactive power, then you can see how much it will be. It will be, if you say KBR, that is equal to a starting QS, a starting KBR of the motor, how much? This is equal to a starting KBR, this is equal to how much? This is equal to your a starting KBA, yeah? KBA, a starting KBA into sin phi, right? KB into sin phi is equal to KBR. So this equal to KBA, we have calculated how much? A starting KBA equal to, we have already calculated a starting KBA of the motor. That a starting KBA of the motor equal to your 2.89 into running KBA. Running KBA. Okay. This is we have get running KBA. Now, uh, if you calculate the sine phi, sine phi is how much? Into Point, sin phi will be 0.92. If the power factor is 0.4, then the sin phi will be 0.92. So this will be giving how much? Equal to 2.65 into rated KVA. Rated KVA, right? Now in terms of KVA, if you go to rated KVA, now this is a rated KVA. Now is equal to 2.65 into rated KVA. We can calculate it in a of rated KVA. Now rated KVA, this equal to the rated KVA means how much? Rated KVA, we can write down rated KVR by rated uh, into sin phi R rated, sin phi R rated how much? It is a, if it is a 0 0.85 power factor, this will be 0 0.52, this, this one. That means 2.65 into 0 0.52, if you calculate this, it will be approximately 5 times of the rated bar. That means during a starting of the motor, it is drawing five times of the rated KVR. Okay, this factor is coming five, so it will be taking five times of the rated KVR. That means during a starting of the motor, active power it is drawing only one point one thirty percent. 
but reactive power is drawing about 500 times 500 500 percent so this is or five times you can see another way so yeah that's why power factor is very poor of the motor now uh, already we have completed i think 40 minutes so we'll close it over here for today and uh, this combined load and uh, combined continual load and the starting motor big motor starting we'll discuss in another session and along with the other transformer sizing and then we'll call, we'll conclude transformer sizing calculation so there will be another session for this thank you very much indeed thank you